so much hype on SSD drives, but are they really that much faster? Let's find out. In this experiment, we're using a 2012 MacBook Pro with a 500 gigabyte Seagate 5400 RPM internal drive and a 2017 SanDisk 480 gigabyte Ultra 2 SSD. I started by clocking the startup times of the OS and two processor heavy apps. For the first speed test, we'll see how fast the Seagate 5400 RPM boots up OS X. I went ahead and sped up the video a little bit here as I got the stopwatch going. Okay, so a minute 2769 for the boot up here using the 5400 RPM drive. It isn't horrible, but it's not that great. It's somewhere in the middle as far as performance. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at Logic Pro X and the startup time here. Again, I sped up the video. No one likes to look at the timer. This is a very processor heavy app. It uses a lot of VSTs. A lot of plugins. Let's see what. Okay, we came up on two minutes here. Still hasn't started. Boom. Okay, so for the Logic Pro start time is about a minute 56. Let's look at the Pro Tool startup time. This is another plugin, VST heavy app. I use it primarily for video editing. Just kidding, guys. It's all music based. Okay, we're coming up on another minute. I sped up the video here. Now, this is version. 12 for Pro Tools, if those want to know. Okay, still loading up. Wow, 217, not almost the same as Logic Pro X startup time, but Pro Tools by far the slowest at the startup times. Let's go ahead and uh, replace this drive. Now, before you put your new drive into your MacBook Pro, you want to go ahead and clone your existing drive to the new SSD. I found it to be relatively straightforward and was able to use the freeware Super Duper. It's in the link in the description below. It roughly took me two hours and 45 minutes to copy my old drive over. Note, I also had to use Disk Utility to initialize, aka format, the SSD prior to cloning with Super Duper. I used single partition with a Mac OS S journaled format. Taking off the rear panel requires a small Phillips head screwdriver and I found it to be relatively simple. And there's additional four screws for the hard drive backing. I put everything in a small cup so I wouldn't lose it. Boom, okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start this up with the SSD drive in and let's see how much faster it really is. Is it worth the hype? Let's start it. Okay, again, I sped up the video. Now again, if you remember, it was a minute 27 for the 5400 RPM to start up. Oh wow, 47 seconds. Now, the last one was a minute 27 for the OS on the 5400 drive, so that, doing my math, that's a 154% faster boot up time. So let's go see what the Logic Pro X will do for the startup time. Again, I haven't changed anything. This is simply a clone of my 5400 drive to the SSD. Now previously, it was a minute 56 for the Logic Pro startup time, so let's see how the SSD drive does. Damn, 43 seconds, that is fast, guys. Now, this is definitely worth the hype. Okay, we're gonna try out the second app. This is Pro Tools. Again, nothing has changed. This is the clone. Let's go ahead and start this up. This was roughly about two minutes and 17 seconds last time, so very slow, even slower than Logic Pro X. Let's see how the startup time is for this app. All right, I'm switching it up. We're gonna let this roll real time. I mean, as you can see already, the performance of the SSD beyond what is internally in the 5400 RPM drive. What? Unreal. 20 seconds, guys. Okay, the startup time for Pro Tools for the SSD was 20 seconds, so that's an improvement of 685% faster. Damn, okay, no question about it, guys. You need to upgrade. For the Logic Times, it was 270% faster, and for the OSX boot up, that was 154% faster. No question about it. The SSD drive outperforms the 5400 RPM drive in all three tests. Initially, the boot up time on the 5400 RPM drive was a minute and 27 seconds. After the install of the SSD drive, boot up time reduced to 47 seconds, an increase of 154%. In our application speed test, Logic Pro X previously had a startup time of a minute and 56 seconds, but was reduced to 43 seconds, an increase of 270%. Pro Tools startup time increased by almost 685%, making this SSD drive for the price point a sound investment and a wise choice.